FlexiTank Installation Instruction Container Selection Criteria Check container carefully before FlexiTank installation to ensure its design, size, payload, testing, identification, marking and operation requirements are in line with international standards. The 20-foot standard container nameplates should be marked with max rated payload, 30,000 kilograms or 67,000 pounds, not more than five years and in good condition suitable for highway, railway, ocean transportation. Container external panels shall be free from any repair, free from any dangerous cargo markings or labels, haven't loaded any radioactive or toxic material before. Two fully workable locking bars are on each door. Each door has got a vertical groove. Containers should be clean, dry and free of any debris, sharp edges, floor splinters, loose screws, dents, weld or repair that may cause damage to FlexiTank. All interior panels, including container floor, should be free from any transferable stains and other pollution sources that might react with FlexiTank material and or leach into the liquid cargo. Operators should carefully read the FlexiTank fitting checklist, check the container accordingly, fill out the checklist and keep copies for tracing purpose. Bulkhead choices. We provide customers with three type bulkhead configurations. Bulkhead type A, one set FlexiTank, one roll corrugated paper, one piece cardboard, four pieces steel bars, one piece adjustable steel bar, and one piece vertical steel bar. Bulkhead type B, one set FlexiTank, one roll corrugated paper, one piece PP board, three pieces steel bars, one piece rigid frame, and one piece vertical steel bar. Bulkhead type C, one set FlexiTank, one roll corrugated paper, one piece PP board, and two pieces rigid frames. Cargo loading preparation. Carefully check container, floor shall be clean and free from any debris. Use tapes to fix corrugated paper to container floor, side walls and front end. Joint area and side walls covered and defend areas that might cause damage to FlexiTank. FlexiTank installation. Take FlexiTank out of carton. Unfold it towards front end. Unfold FlexiTank towards left wall. FlexiTank central line should be aligned with the container central line. Fold FlexiTank inward. 50 centimeters away from container door. Keep sufficient room for bulkhead. Installation of bulkhead type A. Fix cardboard into the container. Insert adjustable steel bar into grooves. Tighten the bolt. Fix other bars one by one. Insert paper tubes between every two bars. Fix bars to cardboard with cable ties through drill holes. Fix the vertical bar to cardboard with cable ties. Pull valve out through the hole on cardboard. Use cable ties to fasten bottom valve to cardboard. Keep valve handle at 12 o'clock position. Close left door. Hang the warning tag on the left door latch. Stick warning label on left door. Installation of bulkhead type B. Install PP board. Insert steel frame into grooves. Tighten bolts. Fix other bars one by one. Secure bars to PP board with cable ties through drill holes. Insert paper tubes between every two bars. Fix vertical bar to PP board with cable ties. Pull valve out from the hole on PP board. Use cable ties to fasten bottom valve. Keep valve handle at 12 o'clock position. Close left door. Stick warning label on left door. Hang the warning tag on the left door latch. Installation of bulkhead type C. Install PP board. Insert the lower steel frame into grooves. 
tighten bolts and then fix the upper steel frame. Fasten both frames to the front board with cable ties through drill holes. Pull valve out from the hole on PP board. Use cable ties to fasten bottom valve. Keep valve handle at 12 o'clock position. Close left door. Hang the warning tag on the left door latch. Stick warning label on left door. Cargo loading. Remove valve caps. Connect pipe to the valve. Start pump engine to transfer liquid cargo into flexitank. Shut down pump when flexitank loaded with designated volume. Close valve. Remove pipe. Fasten caps. Close right door. Seal the container and put caution labels on container side panels. Sampling. Container seal shall be intact. Container has not been opened during transportation. Keep container left door closed and right door open. Remove valve caps. Check interior of the valve. Make sure no dirt, debris inside. Put the sampling cap on the valve. Open valve slowly, allowing liquid flowing into sample bottle. Close valve. Put on caps after it is finished. Flexitank discharging and removal. Remove valve caps. Check interior of the valve. Make sure no dirt, debris inside. Connect pipe to the valve. Keep it parallel to the valve. Start pump engine to discharge cargo out of flexitank. Flexitank surface would collapse gradually. When top surface falls to 15 centimeters away from the floor, reduce flow rate to 300 liters per minute. Keep discharging. When liquid do not flow out anymore, shut down pump. Disconnect pipe from flexitank. Open both container doors. Dismantle and remove bulkhead. Operators are suggested to enter the container to roll the flexitank from back to the front and drain liquid residue out of flexitank through the valve. Take flexitank out of container. Put it in designated place. Flexitank Disposal 1. Burn or bury used flexitank. Send it to authorized waste disposal company for disposal. Operation shall be in compliance with local environment regulations. 2. Roll up used flexitanks. Send them to waste recycling company for future dissection, classification, and recycle. 3. Sort carton and iron materials. Send them to the authorized recycling company for further use. Please follow this manual to do flexitank installation to avoid personal injury or property loss during operation.